Coming up today on Houston Life, it is World Autism Awareness Day, and we are highlighting an aspiring local singer-songwriter using his talent for a good cause. And it's a parent's dream, the local business helping plan the ultimate slumber party experience for kids from setup to cleanup. And we're celebrating Easter weekend with a Good Friday fish fry at Steamboat Bills. Plus, some healthier options for your kids' Easter baskets and, of course, some fun game ideas. All that and more happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2, Houston Life starts now. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. April 2nd. Welcome to Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. Courtney, you've changed a bit. Yes, I, I'm Michael Yo, and check this out right here. It's Go all Coos. about U of H. It sure is. Michael yes. Yo, we know who you are. Mm -hmm. And what is this your second, third, fourth time on Houston Life? At least your third. No, I, I think it's like the fifth. I come here a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think one time I came, you weren't here. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're fancy. You take oh, all these yeah. vacations and everything. <laughs> but no, I, I love Houston life because I'm from Houston. Yeah. You know, born and raised, went to Dovey High School, graduated from Clearbrook High School, Sagemont, that whole area. So I'm excited to be here. I love Houston, Texas. We always love having you come back. And I know uh, the city has changed a little bit since you lived here as a kid. But what's really cool is that growing up here, um, now you have the opportunity to come back as the one and only Michael Yo. You were in town because you're going to be performing at the Houston Improv yes. tonight, tomorrow. You did a show last night as well. It was amazing. I did a show last night, and the crowd in Houston gave me so much love. And that's what I love. I love performing in front of people at, in Houston, Texas. And tonight, two shows, and tomorrow, two shows. So come on out, people. Houston Improv. Well, and the last time we got a chance to chat here on the show, you were talking about how when you do stand-up, it seems like the real life experiences of being a husband, of being a dad, you have two kids, ages one and four. Mm -hmm. Those are all things that sort of like give you material for your stand-up. I right? got new material. I got new material about almost dying from COVID. Yeah. You know, because that happened last March. I was the first person in a hospital in LA with COVID. Yeah, they were trying out all kinds of stuff on me. So it, it, I, I actually, t it's like a 10 minute bit now where I've taken the worst situation in my life and actually made it hilarious. And I did it last night and I'm trying out all my new material at this shows. And last night's response was amazing. So, you know, tragedy turns into comedy and I'm just excited to let the people hear it, so. Well, I think it's cool you're able to take a not so great situation yes. like having COVID, which you shared that experience here on Houston yes, I Life, did. turn it into something funny. So, for people who um, are watching Houston Life right now and you're saying, Michael, it's it really is kind of staggering t for me to think back to all of the things that you have done. Chelsea lately, The Insider, Kardashian. Kardashians, your acting career. Wendy that is now. Williams, I was in Justin Kelly, the first American Idol movie that bombed. Yes, that was me you're in it. Justin to Kelly. I was so bad in acting 20 years ago that they cut me out of the movie and put me in the extras. How bad <laughs> is my acting when they cut me out of a Justin the Kelly movie, Derek? It was horrible. It was horrible. I don't remember I, any good acting in that movie. Well, can I tell you, I still haven't seen what I've... I, I purposely have not looked at any of the footage, from, so I've never seen my scene. But people call me all the time and go, yo... I didn't know you were in Justin Kelly. And I go, yo, why are you watching that movie 20 years later? That's pathetic. So I'm just saying. I think it's really cool. It's also an example. We were just chatting upstairs before the show, and we were talking about Hollywood and all the different jobs that we've had. I feel like you're such a great example of someone who's constantly hustling, constantly reinventing yourself. You got your start in radio. Eventually, you made your way out to L.A., where you were telling us that they built a studio for you to continue doing the radio show. Yeah. And you've kind of had your hands in many different things. Do you think that's why you've been so successful? I think it's why, but it's from my dad. My dad said, always be better than your job. So if you're going to take a job, be good at everything at it so it's harder to let you go. And in Hollywood, to be better than your job is, okay, I'm a hosting, but let me do comedy and let me do this. And so if one, if you lose one, you have other stuff to fall back on. And thank God he told me that because this pandemic happened and everything went away. You know, they shut Hollywood down. So. Yeah. Comedy has gotten me through it. My Sirius XM radio show has gotten me through it. So it's a thing where I'm always reaching for new stuff. Now, acting is the new thing. You know, I've sold a couple TV shows. So, yeah, about my, I sold one to Nickelodeon about my younger life, and we're working on one uh, with a network about my old, yeah, yeah. It's a kid show about my uh, younger life. 
oh growing up in gosh. Houston, Texas. Listen, this this photo alone yeah. um, would sell a show. We should point out your mom beat breast cancer twice. Your dad. Three times now. Three times. She just beat it three months ago. Wow. Again. My mom is so strong. I love my mom and dad so much, but my mom is the strongest woman I know. Beat it for three three times in a row. Three wow. times in a row. She's the one that after I beat COVID, she called me and said, oh, you know, you gave me COVID? I go, I'm sorry, mom. She goes, oh, no problem. I beat him one day. And then she called me weak. My mom's like, you weak, boy. I'm like, hey, mom, this is, hey, what's going on? She said I need to eat more kimchi. Oh, but my whatever. Gosh. I don't think kimchi stops COVID, mom. I love kimchi. It Please so give your mom a hug uh, for us. Oh, can I say, hi, mom. Hi, dad. I and love your you dad guys. too. I love you guys. Okay, so we're going to give people details about your shows of the improv. Yes, uh, so, so stay tuned to our show because those are coming up later. But in the meantime, we have got to chat about this big Final Four matchup between the University of Houston Cougs and the Baylor Bears. It is happening tomorrow, and KPRC2 Sports Director Randy McElvoy is joining us live from Indianapolis with all the details. Randy, you can just feel the excitement uh, here in Houston. I'm sure where you are, it's palpable yeah. as well. Uh, Derek and Michael, I'll tell you what, today is the day I've really felt it. We arrived here in Indianapolis yesterday, kind of quiet for a Final Four countdown. I've been to a bunch of these Final Fours, obviously, in normal years. It's crazy with fans from all over the country flocking to the city that's the host. Uh, not the case this year with Indianapolis doing a fantastic job, by the way, hosting this tournament from start to finish. They're keeping all the teams uh, quarantined to keep everybody healthy. So far, so good entering the Final Four. But certainly a little bit more of a buzz today because a lot of the fans are starting uh, to arrive here in Indianapolis, especially uh, fans of U of H and Baylor, UCLA, Gonzaga. All the activities on the court start uh, coming up tomorrow here at Lucas Oil Stadium. We're right in front of Lucas Oil Stadium where it all goes down. It's really cool. The sign behind me has the logos of all the teams. And to see U of H up there, after 37 years of waiting. I mean, it's been 1984 the last time U of H was in a Final Four. They're updating the history books. Let's roll some of the video now because it has been a busy day. It began this morning, and this is a normal schedule at a Final Four when all four teams get in open workouts for the fans. Now, normally the stadium is packed with fans. Not the case this year. You had to have a ticket to get in, and they limited the crowd. But uh, fans of all the teams uh, did file in today. Cougars were first on the floor. You see them working out. They began about 11 a.m. Eastern time, so 10 o'clock back in Houston. Each team got about an hour's worth of practice and then did their media op uh, option availability, I should say, uh, their option after practice. Baylor then followed U of H, and that's their opponent coming up uh, tomorrow here in the national semifinal. So U of H and Baylor ready to go. UCLA Gonzaga, they are good to go as well so it's been fun gathering the, the new interviews with the guys kelvin sampson couple of cougar players all kinds of good stuff leading up to the big game tomorrow guys for sure and randy mm -hmm. always has a front row seat i know he's so lucky he's he's got a great job <laughs> i'm so CG. jealous of randy it's a tough job guys it's a tough <laughs> yeah, it's a right tough randy job. i know a tough job but you make it <laughs> look easy you do it so well randy thanks so much have fun out there and still to come on houston life love them or hate them Peeps. Yeah. It's an Easter thing, right? They've become a staple. The unique flavors that have become available. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't had a peep in like 20 years, and I'm excited to have one. Well, today's your lucky day. Thank you, Derek. You're making my dreams come true. Okay, good. <laughs> and Joe Sam is hanging out at a local spot in Houston today. Hey, Joe, what's cooking out there? Hey, Michael, Derek, yeah, so we are going to be talking all about Good Friday, and what better way to celebrate Good Friday with a fish fry? We're going to be telling you all of their dishes that incorporate some good old fried fish when we come back here on Houston Life. I can't wait to eat, so come back fast. <laughs> Okay, so some people really love peeps. Other people hate them. What are your thoughts, Michael? I haven't had one in 20 years, but I think I liked them. Okay. Well, I think. I loved them as a kid. I would actually open the package and let them get stale because I liked them when they were chewy. So anyway, <laughs> fast forward to 2021 on Insider.com. So did you know there are 16 specialty flavors of peeps now? There are more available, but here we have on set fruit punch, hot tamale, watermelon, sour blue raspberry. Uh, let's take, let's okay. take a nibble and see okay. what you think. I want to try this... Uh, this hot tamale one. I'm gonna try the blue one. What's the blue one? Fruit punch. Mmm. You know what? 
it's amazing that like as a kid you would eat the head of the thing first and i still do that mm. I, you eat the tail i eat the head yeah yeah so, fruit punch is good mm. I, I don't know dude i just tried the fruit punch i think i would rather stick with the original but collect all five did they did they <laughs> when we were growing up did they have different flavors no, I think it was just regular. They had different colors. It was just one flavor. <laughs> well, we want to hear from you. How are you celebrating Easter Sunday? Head on over to the Houston Life Facebook page, share your comments, and Michael and I will try to get yes. to some of those later on in today's show. But in the meantime, we have a large bowl of peeps, and we're going to play a game that um, our producers dreamed up for us okay. because they've okay. seen this happen on social media. So we're going to play Chubby Bunny. The rules are very simple. So we're going to place a single marshmallow or peep in our mouth at a time and say the phrase Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny. So okay. it's like you put one in, say okay. it, then I put one yeah. in, say it. And we keep going. Whoever has the most, <laughs> you started mm -hmm. already, <laughs> whoever has the most, mm -hmm. they win. Okay, since you went first, go for it. Chubby Bunny. Oh, good job. Chubby bunny. What? You're chewing. Can we chew? No, I was pushing it with my tongue mm. to my cheek. Uh -huh. Chubby bunny. By the way, don't try this at home and don't send us hate mail. I know it's dumb. Okay. Chubby bunny. Good job. I'm not chewing in, just rearranging. Mm hmm. It looks like you're chewing dirt. Chubby bunny. It looks like you're chewing. I'm not chewing, dude. Don't chew dirt. I'm not chewing. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny, okay. That's good, that's free. Here's my third. Chubby bunny. Okay, okay. Four. Chubby bunny! Oh, man. Chubby <laughs> bunny. <laughs> Slight whimper. <laughs> wow, I think he won. Good job. Good job. Do we have the fake applause track cued for? Thank you. Oh, good. The two people in our studio. Oh. And uh, you have won. What did I win? Some peeps. Ew, it's all over it's your all hand. Over my hand. Look Can at we that. get a cleanup on aisle? Look at that. Look at Michael. That. Yeah. It's <laughs> okay. It's chubby bunny juice. Okay. We should yeah. play that again after the show. Well, listen, that is just the beginning of us getting messy. <laughs> Things are going to get real messy in a little while, so you don't want to go away. But in the meantime, Louisiana-based seafood restaurant Steamboat Mills is kicking off Good Friday. Are you okay over there? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make it, man. Okay, good. I'm trying to make it. They're having a famous <laughs> fish fry at Ooh. its new location in Pearland. Uh, Joe Sam is there now getting a taste of it all. <laughs> What's up, Joe? Well, what's up, you guys? You know, as you're stuffing your mounts here, we're going to be getting ready to stuff our mounts here with some amazing fried fish here at Steamboat Bills. Who is the man here to talk about it all? It's Kevin Family, General Manager. We have some amazing and beautiful dishes yes, that we have down here. Tell us what are we going to be getting into, because right. I can't wait to eat. All right. Thank you guys for coming out. So today, we're going to walk you through some of our signature dishes right here. We got our house fried fish and our house seasoned buttermilk oh, it and looks seasoned beautiful. flour. All right, so it's all two piece, and we also do a four piece as well. Yeah, you gotta get I gotta some see of if that. I gotta see the crunch uh -huh, test now. All right, let us know. Oh, uh huh. Mm. Mm -hmm. There you go. It passed the test. What else do we all have? Right, because I'm gonna finish eating this. <laughs> <laughs> then we got a house potato right here, which is our baked potato, one pound russet potato. Wait, this is a baked potato? Yes, sir. Wow. It's under there somewhere. All right, so then we got cheese, sour cream, chives, shrimp etouffee, and then fried popcorn shrimp garnished around the top of it. Mm. That's a house favorite right there. And then we'll come over to our chafalaya, which is our signature fried fish on top of the better rice, smothered with shrimp etouffee and garnished with some chives and a Louisiana roll. Those are pistolets. Oh, yes. We love the pistolets, and we have to, to make sure we teach people and educate them all how to say the chafalaya. Yes, they sir. see the word, and they don't know what they're talking about. Yes. So this is really cool for people to come and check out here for Good Friday. Yes, We're going to be explaining 
exactly how to make the perfect fried fish. And we're going to be talking about how some people can come and help you guys out because you have a busy, busy group here. Absolutely. There's even a DJ here, you guys, too. So we're going to be talking about that and how you can come in and celebrate your Good Friday. In the meantime, Michael, Derek, I'm going to go ahead and finish this here. And we're going to send things back to you guys. You got to share it, though. Yeah, we're going to share. We're sharing is caring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, it's a beautiful day outside to chow down, Joe. Mm -hmm. Have fun out there. Okay, oh, that was an abrupt ending to our fun music. I know. But it is time now, this sound means time for our Houston <laughs> Life Prize Wheel. This is where the wheels just fly off the bus. Michael. That's right. It's their chance to win some great prizes like Tiffany Cuff valued at more than $1,400, Derek, or a new prize added this week, a two-night stay at the... George in College Station from the Valencia Hotel Group. They have some fantastic hotels. Yes. It's a beautiful property. The prizes, have you noticed, they are getting better and they are. better. When I when I first got here, it was like stuff from Chick-fil-A. But y'all are moving up, so this is great. <laughs> we're moving up. How does my <laughs> jacket fit on you, by the uh, way? It, it's great. I feel like we're the new uh, S Silk Sonic. You know, Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack. That's us now. Okay, well, there yeah. you go. That's they might right. disagree with that assertion. Speaking today is Houston Live viewer Greg Adele. What is up, buddy? Greg, it is good to see you along I with your dog. Jackets. He likes our Are jackets. Jackets on the prize wheel. Oh, you know what? That's a great suggestion. We could potentially include them. So, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, Greg. I know you live in Montrose. You got to introduce your pup. Uh, this is Floyd the Wonder Dog. I am a storyteller and co-host of So What's Your Story uh, radio show on KPFT, and a huge fan. I think I've seen every single episode of Houston Life. Oh my God! Look at that, Greg. We love you so much. And and Derek, I hope you had an awesome birthday yesterday. Thanks, buddy. So he really does watch. He's not lying for the prizes. He actually watches. See? Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, Greg, you send messages and you comment. So we love having you as a viewer, and I am so excited that you have the chance to spin and win today. Michael Yo, how do yes. you feel about doing the honors? Oh, can, may I? You absolutely okay. may. Hey, hey, Greg, before Michael spins, do you have any tips for him? Yes, please. Spin it hard. Okay. Let's okay. go all the way. You all right, here man. we go. Okay. Big money, Greg. We got our we fingers go. crossed for you. All right, Floyd's rooting for us. There's also a new prize pack for Lifetime Fitness City Center, which oh, is nice. worth nearly $700, a juice cleanse as well. Oh, and spin, spin again. again. Oh, my God, do it. We have All time. Right. We have time. Okay. Oh, yeah, we will make time. Greg, Let's this is it. good luck. It's good luck. Let's do it, Michael. Oh, nice form, Michael. Thank you. Yo. Follow through. Very See nice. We'll spin. Spin. Follow wow. through. Wow. Yeah. Very wow. nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Round and round it goes. Go. Back to. No, don't tell me. Spin again. <gasps> oh, it is island time. Greg, you have just won a VIP attraction pass to one of our favorite spots down in Galveston. Congratulations. Planning a little Thank road trip. You. It's a short drive away from Montrose. The weekend in Galveston is exactly what I was hoping for. Look Perfect. at that. I'm making dreams come true on this show, Derek. Greg Adele with Floyd the Wonder Dog. Congratulations, my friend, and thanks for thanks, watching Houston Life. Thank all you right, very and much. And if you want your chance to spin the win uh, live on the show, all Board you have to do is go to join KPRC2 Insider Program. Yeah, it is free to join, mm -hmm. and there are all kinds of fantastic perks like discounts, giveaways, a whole lot more. Just head to clicktohouston.com slash insider for your chance to win big with our Houston Life prize wheel. You did a great job spinning Thank you. That. I appreciate that. Yeah. I'm yep. going to be your professional prize wheel spinner now. We can't wait. We'll get you a little bit bigger jacket. Okay. <laughs> I think it <laughs> looks good you. on you. Okay. When we come back, we're going to introduce you to an inspiring local singer-songwriter helping spread awareness about autism. And we're sharing some healthier ways to celebrate Easter with the family this weekend. What you can do to help cut out the sugar. Oh, I just had a lot of sugar in my mouth. That's coming up on Houston Life. But you spit it out. So I did okay. spit it out. Beautiful. That was William Gray performing his original song, New Destination. He's a talented local singer-songwriter who is beating the odds and helping others along the way. William and his mom, Uti Peters, are joining us now on World Autism Awareness Day. 
There they are right there. William Uti, thank you so much for taking time for us today. And William, so we can see yes. that you play the piano. I understand you were four years old when you had your first piano lesson? Yes. And what other instruments do you play? I play the acoustic guitar and the electric, the keyboard, and the synth, and I'm also a songwriter. Well, I think that is fantastic. Just reading a little bit about your story, you were born four months premature. I know you're visually impaired. Why do you think that you have connected so well with music? Ever since, um, ever since I got my first three key piano, <laughs> I was happy. Well, I can tell that you're happy. It seems like uh, you, ha you have this gift that comes very naturally. And along the way, you've, of course, had the support of your mom and also your teacher, Keaton. That's right. What kind of feeling or message do you want other folks to take away from an experience of being able to hear and watch you perform? Um. I don't know. What does music do for you? It relaxes me. It relaxes you. Well, again, I can tell you look very comfortable there in that clip we just showed of you sitting at the piano. Uti, I'd love to ask you a couple questions as well, because this is something that uh, you, along with your husband, have have been helping William along with since he was born. I mean, his, his passion for music. And what do you hope uh, other families out there might learn from your story? Just to, and the more I read and listen to other people who are on the spectrum, they always say to find what you're good at or what you're interested in and just follow that and use that to help you pass the time, to help you be um, productive and hopefully lead you to a job. And let's talk a little bit about this charitable component as well, because I understand uh, that the two of you are raising money. How is that money going to be used? Um, we started walking for Autism Speaks like 14 or so years ago, and about seven or eight years ago, you want to tell them what you did? I recorded daylight for my mom, and, and then I put together my first CD to his money for autism speaks, and I've been doing it ever since. So we just were trying to come up with a different or creative idea to help raise money, and since he does these covers of songs at the beginning, and my friends were very gracious and family, and they would buy his CDs, and he's my big money maker for our team, and um, now he, through his lessons with Keaton Kaufman, he is now a songwriter, and so now his CDs are about half covers and half originals, and all of the proceeds from the CDs go to our walk team um, that goes directly to Autism Speaks. It's such a fantastic cause, and you definitely are not alone. The Walk for Autism Speaks is October 24th. The gala is June 11th. William and Uti, thank you so much for your time today and for sharing a bit of your story. And uh, we hope to see you both again very soon. Thank you very much for having us. Hope to talk to you again, Derek. Thank you, William. I hope the same. We'll see you very soon. Bye. Performing on a stage very near you very soon. And for a parent's guide to autism and resources, you can go to clicktohouston.com slash autism. And if you'd like to donate to Autism Speaks, you can visit clicktohouston.com slash autism or call 713-724-5092. You can also mail your check to Autism Speaks Houston at 5826 New Territory Boulevard, number 723, Sugarland, Texas, 77479. And we will be right back. Oh, guys, it's 3.30 now, 3.31. Welcome back to Houston Life. Michael, yo, it's so great to have you today. You know what? We've made it 31 minutes. So 31 minutes. I'm feeling great right now. Okay. Don't well, screw it up. The next 29 minutes are only going to go downhill. No, just kidding. <laughs> so we have these delicious treats on our coffee table right now. Yes. Heights Bakery Becca Cakes. 
These delicious treats, including these bunny cakes, marbled Easter egg cookies, she sent us so kindly. We also have some of the cupcakes she's going to be creating for this weekend, including carrot cake, vanilla, lemon. So you can check out BeccaCakesHTX.com. You know, some people, their baked goods don't look this good. So I, if you want Becca to do the work for you, it'll save a headache. It looks amazing. I want to eat everything on those You're plates. You're welcome to eat any and all of it. Well, right now? Sure. I can mess up the display? Yeah. Oh, nice. Go for it. Go uh, for it. I want this one right here. This is a perfect time to take a little snack break. We're going to check in mm. with Keith, Lauren, and Frank for a look at what's coming up at four. Wow. Pretty good. Guys, we've got a whole spread over here. Yeah, you know, and right over. Michael, don't worry. It's family, it's, you're not a visitor. You're, you're here. You're part of the family. Just, just dig in. Just take what you want, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't be bashful. <laughs> you don't have to ask. Just open the fridge. <laughs> right. Closed mouths don't get fed, my mom used to say. All right. <laughs> All right, good to have you, and good to have you here in Houston on this beautiful weekend, Frank. My gosh, my already God. starting our great. I mean, we, we're doing the best we can for him, right? <laughs> That's right. And there's a look at Galveston. Look, a little breezy, just beautiful skies, lots of blue sky there. In fact, high pressure is right over the area. We've seen the winds kick in a little bit out of the east, but no problem. Humidity still in the 20% range right now, 66 in downtown, 68 southwest. These winds east and southeast, that continues in Galveston at 63. If you're going to go for a little dog walk, look at that. A run, a walk, whatever you have planned. 68 at 4 and 5, 67 at 6, and 63 at 6. Seven. Really beautiful weather. In fact, the weekend shapes up like this. 50 for a low tomorrow morning, 68 on Saturday, then 54 and 74 on Sunday, 60 to 78 on Monday. So really spectacular all the way into next week. Specifically on Easter Sunday, sunrise is at 707, 54 degrees then, 66 by 11, 74, 72 into the afternoon. 10% chance for a stray shower, but very stray. Almost as rare as a rabbit. Perfect date night for tonight. An excellent weekend all and all, and then a big warm up for next week. We'll talk about that and any chance of rain. We certainly need it. That's all straight ahead at four o'clock. We do need it, Frank. Thank you. Here's a look at some of the stories we're working on for this afternoon. We are getting new information in the story. Breaking news from the nation's capital. A Capitol police officer is dead after a man rammed a car into two officers outside the U.S. Capitol. The suspect has also died. What investigators are telling us about how this unfolded. New guidelines from the CDC when it comes to traveling. The particular group of people who are being given the green light to go ahead and make travel plans and how it differs from what the CDC had previously said. And we saw Randy earlier in Houston Live reporting from the Final Four in Indianapolis. He and Chris Gutierrez will be live starting at 4 o'clock for us with all the excitement ahead of tomorrow afternoon's matchup between the University of Houston Cougars and the Baylor Bears. Specifically, Randy caught up with a U of H fan who has a unique role with the team in Indy as the bubble guy. He's going to explain that coming up at 4. Yeah, it's a really Curious. important job for sure, yes. The bubble definitely. guy. The yes. bubble guy, that's yeah. intriguing. All I know is go Cougs. There you go, go Cougs. Yeah. Well, we do have a Baylor Bear right here, so I'm get him out of there. <laughs> get him out of there. I don't oh, want wow. nothing to do with Why is he even in Houston? <laughs> Leave right now. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I could ask Lord. the same with you. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, we'll see you at four o'clock. It just got real. Oh, I can. The, the hate mail is coming. Today. <laughs> this thing is digging. We'll see you guys. Thank All right. you. All right, now let's check in with Lauren, who's got a great idea for the kids. Hey, Lauren. Now this might be great for your kids at some point, Michael. How awesome would it be if your kids had a slumber party, but you, as a parent, didn't have to set anything up or clean up afterwards? Well, now you can. Founder Woodland's mom Emily Gillen is telling us more about the slumber party club. <laughs> Tell us about how your business got started. Well, it got started a couple years ago when my daughter was turning eight. And um, I had seen these little teepees and they were so cute. And I thought, oh my goodness, I can do this. We don't have this in this area. And so I got started and we got started with 10 tents. And now we have over 75 tents with 30 different themes. And I just love what I do. And it's not just for girls, right? I don't want people to think slumber party, it's girls only. You also have boy themes. Yes, we have boy themes. We have lots of boy themes. We have sports. We have gaming. Gaming is very in right now. Fortnite, Minecraft, baseball, football, any kind of sport. Theme what a great life. way for you to stay in the know and on, on trend, right? Yes, we love it. <laughs> What's the most popular theme? I would say definitely for boys it's gaming and for girls it's just girly. Girls just want to have fun. Llama. Unicorn. Unicorn. We have unicorns. We have mermaids. Oh, of course. Princess yes. themes. Anything yes. pink, right? Yes. And we can customize any theme anybody would like. Now, I do like this setup because with COVID you are actually kind of keeping everybody in their own tents, right? Yes. How many people usually attend each 
each slumber party. So it ranges, our average party is five to six, but we can go up to 15 or 20, even 25 tents. Now, how does the whole process work? You basically come in and set everything up? We do, so you customize your order. We arrive, we set everything up, and then the next day we come and tear everything down. So it's a no mess, no hassle for you. And all we just ask is that the room is cleared when we get there and we make sure that we clean up when we leave. Oh my goodness, anything that involves someone else cleaning up after a yes. slumber party is always Absolutely. a great thing. Now you've done a really great thing and you're gonna give our Houston Life viewers a discount. Yes I am, 10% if you just um, mention Houston Life. Okay, where can we find your stuff? At the Slumber Party Club. Com. Well, Emily, thank you so much. The Slumber Party Club is such a great idea, and if you want more information, just log on to HoustonLife.tv. You guys, it's such a great idea for kids' birthday parties, and so convenient for parents, too. Once again, that special discount code for our HL viewers is online at HoustonLife.tv. What do you say, guys? Could you maybe use the Slumber Party Club in your, in your next adventure? Yeah, my yeah. house tonight. Yeah, uh, my, with my kids, 100%. <laughs> All right. 100%. Adult Slumber Party, you and I. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Lauren Kelly, thank you so thank much. Thank you, guys. Sure. Okay, on this beautiful day, we're going to head outside for some grilling. That's coming up after the break. What you can serve for your family and friends that will definitely impress them. Plus, healthier options for the kids' Easter baskets. Don't go away. We will be outside right after this. Well, welcome back to Houston Life on this beautiful day. It's so gorgeous being outside. Mary Ellen Phipps is now joining us. Yep. Dietitian, registered dietitian. I'm so excited to be here. And I'm excited that you're here because Obviously, we all love Easter candy. Um, you've shared very openly your story about being a diabetic. And yeah. for families or people who are in this situation, you have some healthier options, starting with these Easter baskets. Yes. So I think any mom probably feels like me, that we feel like we just got through the Valentine's Day candy, and here comes Easter. And yeah. it's like, oh my gosh, Never no. Uh, but I would just encourage um, parents or anybody looking to fill an Easter bag, look at other areas of the grocery store. Just pick out things with those pastel colors that remind you of springtime. We've got everything from some low sugar cookies to plantain chips to those fun little oatmeal cups, a loofah, soaps, uh, anything like that, hairbrushes. Um, you know, what kid doesn't love a good little Aww, bunny cute. rabbit or even cute hand sanitizer? We all need that these days. It's a great it's idea. And it Michael, is. your kids are one in four. One so. in four. They would love this. And my son has never had candy in his life, if you believe it or not. So this is like perfect for him. Where he doesn't yeah. even know what they he's doesn't even know what he's it, I know, right? Yeah. And that's a good thing for us. So yeah. there you go. But it's this is great. The, the, he would totally dig this. So. Yeah, so if you're looking for, still looking for options for their baskets, just head to the grocery store and check out the other aisles. Yeah, it's still super colorful and fun. All right, shifting from baskets, though, to the menu, I do want to point out that both Michael and Mary Ellen are fully vaccinated. Yes. So, yes. Michael, maybe you could assist Mary Ellen. What, what do you need? What I'm yeah, here for you. So, Easter, it's a holiday weekend. You know, we want to feel a little bit special, so we're going to do some lamb loin chops. Ooh. And loin chop, lamb in general, people might be a little bit intimidated by, but it could not be simpler. Um, and lamb loin chops are actually one of the most easiest to find at the grocery store. Um, and you want to make sure wherever you go, your butcher, your grocery store, that you're asking um, if they stock American lamb. We want to support our local ranchers yes. and farmers. So I've got three right here, and I've got a marinade. And we can just kind of base these up. We've got some going okay. already. Okay. And what I also love um, about lamb is it pairs so great with veggies. And when we're talking about the grill and a holiday weekend, how great is it that we can keep something so incredibly simple, do everything on the grill, and your Easter lunch will be ready in under 30 minutes. And lamb, uh, health-wise, is leaner and healthier than beef, correct? Yes, it okay. does tend to be leaner. Um, it's a great, excellent source of protein, zinc, selenium, B vitamins, all of those things. And we hear about those heart-healthy fats, monounsaturated mm -hmm. fats. Each chop that you see here is going to have about three grams of those in it, too. So oh, great. It's great. a great option. So we mm -hmm. can go ahead and put these on the grill. Okay, you want me? You got it? Okay. We'll get it going, since I'm already over here. And, and Mary then, Ellen, while you're putting those on the grill, can we have a go back on the marinade? Is this something yes, you yes. created from scratch or are you doing a store-bought scenario? Yes, you're giving me a lot of credit by saying created from scratch because <laughs> it is so easy. It's just water, oil, a little Dijon mustard, some lemon zest and garlic and you just mix it all together. And here's the best part. We're going to switch these plates out here. And have you ever had grilled romaine? No. Have you ever done that? It's so delicious. So I'll let you, I'll use your excellent basting skills again. Okay. We're just going to brush I took a romaine head and cut it in half. Okay. Go ahead and give it a be generous. Oh, with okay. It. Go ahead. Okay. With well, a, let's say uh, marinade. Yes, with the same. So it's basically like a salad dressing, essentially. Oh, wow. Okay. Give it a good whirl. Both of them or just yep, one? Yep, both of okay. them. And then we're just going to stick them face down 
on the grill. Oh my goodness. Five minutes is all it needs. Okay, what? I, this, it would never even occur to me to do this. No, so this good, is amazing. So good. We're gonna put those down. We've got, we're gonna get our corn on the cob over there. Okay. You wanna pass me that plate? Sure. And we can, we'll marinate these heads a little bit. And so everything gets going. Now, corn on the cob doesn't take the dressing. You can, you if, can you if you want to. You want to, okay. You but know? it's not needed for the corn. No, usually okay. just a little butter and salt. That's what I like. But we can do we can do it anyway. And we have some finished over here. You can see another thing I like about this is, like, at my house, we don't actually have a gas grill. We have a smoker. So I did all of this on a smoker yesterday. Times are a little bit different uh, in terms of cooking time, but still comes out just as good. All right. It looks like a it looks like an Instagram post. It really I mean, does, it's right? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You I'm can so see that on my Instagram about... feed. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> Never seen anything like that grilled romaine. Mary Ellen Phipps, registered dietitian. It is always so great to see you. Great recipe ideas on her Instagram. Check her out. And if you would like more on these recipes, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Click on the food and drink section. So, Mary Ellen, thanks again. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. This was so fun. And, Michael, you're a great, you know, sous chef. That's right. You know, I'm great at this. I, I'm used to women telling me what to do. I'm married. So, this is great. This is perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, on this Good Friday, we're going to toss it on out to Joe. Sam to see how he's doing. Is your belly full yet, Joe? Yeah, and I think I still have some room left for a little bit more of that amazing fried fish that we're getting here at Steamboat Bills. When we come back, we're going to be telling you guys how to make the perfect fried fish. We're going to be heading back in the kitchen and giving you those tips when Houston Life returns. Well, today is Good Friday, and if you are still looking for dinner tonight, then Louisiana-based seafood restaurant Steamboat Mills has you covered. Joe Sam is at their new location in Pearland. Joe, thanks for the food, man. Yeah, you know, you guys are eating the fish po' boys right now, so we're going to continue frying up some fish, but we want to show everyone how to perfectly fry up a good piece of fish. I have my man here with me, Cameron, to right. explain to me what do we need to do, so let's get started. All right, so we're <laughs> going to go through the step-by-step -step on how we do our famous fish. So what we're going to do is a regular fish plate. We're going to grab two pieces of fish right there. All right, there. so two pieces. beautiful Louisiana catfish. There we go. Right into our seasoned buttermilk. And this is seasoned, so this you have all seasoned, the season all, already. All special seasoning, all right? Oh, yeah, there we go. Coat it up. And we're gonna come right here into our seasoned flour on your left side. All right, so we have the flour here. Yes, sir. Go ahead and drop the, all that fish. Oh, we're we'll dropping. You see, oh, this yeah. is why I need to be taught. <laughs> and then we're gonna cover it up real good. And make this is what you want to do at home. You want to make sure that your fish is nice and covered yes, with sir. all of that flour on there. You don't want any brown spots on it. You want it nice and pretty. So we're gonna just press it down, make it look good, go all both right. sides. There we're we gonna go. We're going to shake some of that excess off and lay it flat in the basket. And this makes for is why well, we put them in separate baskets. There we go. And then we're going to put one on top so we can cook it evenly all the way through, all right? And, and then this goes in here for about how long? Five minutes. So we got some fish right here that's getting oh. ready to come out for us right and now. And there we go, that beautiful piece of fish. Yes for everyone at home, and it really doesn't take that long. So if people nope. want to do this at home, they don't have to spend too much time cooking up some fried fish. But nope. if they don't want to do it, they can come right over here to Steamboat uh, yes Bills. What time is you guys going to be open? We are open from 10.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. So today, come down and see us on Good Friday, get you some fish, some shrimp. Come see our live DJ and have a good time with us, guys. Absolutely. And you know what? While you come and get that fish, you can also walk away with the job, too, because they are actively hiring right here at Steamboat Bills. I'm going to take out the rest of this fish here, Michael and Derek, and we're going to continue eating and wishing everybody a happy Good Friday out there. Calvin, let's get that fish out. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Steamboat Bills, there's nothing like it. Joe, have fun out there. Thanks for the snack, too. How do y'all not gain so much weight? How are you so thin? Y'all eat food all day. Uh, well, we can talk about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, switching gears now to our second and final Easter game of the day. Oh, there's Lauren Kelly back there. Hey. I just decided to sneak up wow. behind you. I, okay, Hi. so Lauren, you're here to do the honors. I didn't even realize you were there. <laughs> <laughs> well, today's game is called Yokes to O. Uh -oh. We'll be putting Derek and Michael's <laughs> Easter knowledge to the test with a, a fun name. game of trivia. Now, here are the rules. I'm going to read a multiple choice question, and you guys have to wait until the entire question and answer choices are read, and then whoever rings in first can answer. We're going to take this game up a notch, though, because that's what we do, make it a little bit more festive and possibly a little more messy. Now, 
Listen carefully. If you answer the question incorrectly, you will choose from one of the numbered eggs in front of you and your opponent will crack that egg on you. If you get the answer correct, you will crack the egg on your <laughs> opponent. Where, it is super simple. Where do we crack the egg though? Like over the, each other's heads? Cabeza. Yes. On the head? On the head. Oh, okay. That is correct. Okay, All right. and I just want to point out to our viewers, you can't see this at home, but we're standing on a plastic tarp. Oh yeah, we are. Tarp. I did <laughs> I knew there were problems. The, this is a trap. Like, I'm just noticing what's going on right this here. This is a trap because this, some, some of these are confetti eggs and some of them are actually real eggs with... Ding, ding, yolks ding. In them. Oh, because it's... Yo! Yolk. That is correct. Oh All right, let's go. get started. All right, here we go. Okay. Question number okay. one. I, okay. About how many chocolate bunnies are produced each year? A, 30 million. B, 60 million. C, 90 million or D, 120 million? Michael? 90 million. That is correct. <laughs> so the loser picks, and Michael, you will get to then hit Derek on the head with the egg. So he gets to pick. Yes, what number correct. do you want? Derek? Okay, first of all, how in the world would we have known the answer to that question? Stop trying to stall me. I'm going to pick uh, number eight. All right, number eight. Oh, this is <laughs> 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 that was you actual egg. Did I hit you? I'm sorry if I go out. <laughs> don't apologize. Don't no apologies. That All was right. an aggressive hit. <laughs> I'm aggressive. sorry. Question number two. Okay. Where is the most popular Easter parade held each year? Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, or San Antonio? Michael. San Antonio. That is incorrect. So you must pick your egg that Derek will then toss onto your head. Toss? You oh, mean smash. smack down? <laughs> I'm going to go with gently, gently, seven hardly. because it was close to eight and eight was yoked. Seven. <laughs> okay, the strategy. Well. I like the strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That one's pretty in your hair. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, conditioner for your hair. Really pretty. Yeah, thank you. Right, question number three. Mm. What was the circumference of the world's largest chocolate Easter egg? About 37 feet, about 42 feet, about 58 feet, or about 64 feet? Yeah, Don't be scared. Here. Michael's not ringing in, so I'm going to ring in Derek. and say it was about 64 feet. Derek is correct. Yes. Oh, so, Michael, right. you, you choose the egg you want Derek Okay, to so I'm going to go with nine because it was close to the two yolked eggs. <laughs> Ew, I'm Your dripping. Derek is stepping in yolk right now. Oh. <laughs> 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 Sorry, dude. Ew, it's dripping too. Ew. Question number four. In what country did the tradition of the Easter egg bunny originate? Was it in Germany, Canada, Brazil, or Thailand? Michael's not ringing in. <laughs> no, go for it. Because I'm going to get you so good. I'm going to ring. I'm going to get you so okay, good. Okay, ring, ring, ring. I'm going to say Germany. Germany is correct. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Michael, why do you want to get egged with that? Six. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're never going to come back <laughs> okay. to our show again, are you? <laughs> uh, you see, I have to duck down because you're so short, <laughs> but that's whatever. <laughs> Where is the largest <laughs> Easter egg museum in the world? Colombia, Singapore, <laughs> Poland, or Fiji? I don't think Michael can even see to ring in. I can't see the answer. Derek. I'm going to ring in and say Singapore. That is incorrect. Yes, okay, okay. okay. Pick your egg, Derek. I'll pick number five. All right, grab it, Michael. We're short on time. I have Make an sure egg on my counts. shoe. Oh, oh. oh, my gosh. <laughs> you guys, we got some yolk to clean up. And Houston Life will be right back. <laughs> Happy <It's> Easter! Disgusting. <laughs> it's not the first time I've had it. <laughs> Okay, before we go, don't forget you can catch Michael Yo tonight and tomorrow at the Houston Improv, 7.30 and 9.45, tomorrow 7 and 9.30. More info on our website, HoustonLife.tv. And I've got to tell you, yeah. I'm a fan of Michael Yo. I'm a fan of yours, but I didn't like what just happened. Like, my, But my skin is glowing. I feel like it's, it's, it's like, yeah, yeah. Your skin is glowing? It, it's going to be glowing after the egg. Yeah. I don't think that's no, a thing. It's not a, well, no. we're, we're about to make it one. Egg facials. Egg hey, and FYI, <laughs> 
some of these eggs truly were cascarones, just yeah. confetti eggs. They just had confetti in them. So we got unlucky. Yeah. And we got slimed. Yeah. Michael Yo, it's good to see you, buddy. We were set up. Have we fun at up. the improv. We were yeah. set up. You know what? They said break the egg on my head. You broke it in my face. <laughs> you started that. You started that, Derek. We're still friends, I hope, after this. Well, happy Easter, everyone. That does it for us today <laughs> at Houston Life. The time is now 3.59 p.m. And I believe our friends Keith uh, and is it Lauren? There Lauren, are, yes. Keith and Lauren yes. over yep. there in Studio A for the news at 4 o'clock. Guys, we've got a ton of eggs. Yeah. Yes. You know, why I go? That. Why go for the confetti when you can get the real egg, you know? That's I mean, true. come on. It's, be it's, it's better TV, you know? <laughs> we'll bring some over if you want. Uh, uh, not right. right now. We'll, you guys keep them over there. Yeah, maybe next time Michael comes back. Okay. Or if you're hungry, <laughs> make a good snack, good protein. <laughs> All right, good. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll try to take you up on that. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. You All too. right, go Cougs. That's right. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. Unless you're a Baylor Bear fan. Boom. <laughs>